Greenville. We are really cool. North Greenville. Give it a chance. North Greenville. From Tigerville, South Carolina, Chris Heggie with weather, David Sons with sports, Matt Huff as the man in the field, Colton Guffey and Matthew Martinez as your anchors, this is Sky Vision. Hi, and welcome to Sky Vision. I'm Colton Guffey. And I'm Matthew Martinez. Let's get to some news from the bubble. On March 19, 2008, Christian artist Lecrae performed on Turner Chapel stage singing his timeless song for the ages, Jesus Music, which his Christian lyrics go on to say, If you hear the bass bang and you see us in your streets, that stuff your boys play in Maine, it gon' be them Jesus beats. Lecrae, My Calvary, and Godchild performed at what was to be officially the largest BSF meeting ever. Last week's Worldview Conference went exceptionally well, with speakers like Frank Wright, Ergen Kaner, Dr. Karl Marx, and M. Night Shyamalan. Plans are in the works for a new fight song after our current fight song, Victory in Jesus, was revealed to be simply a consolation to the football team after a particularly bad season. When asked about our current mascot, the Crusader, administrators said that it had to do with the tent revival Crusaders, like Billy Sunday. Administrators had no comment, however, when asked how many cities Billy Sunday ransacked and pillaged during his career as a crusader. Room checks this week revealed that North Greenville students are among the top in the nation for hiding things. <laughs> and now we're going to David Sons at the sports desk, but first out to our man in the field, Matt Huff. Matt? Apparently, we have a soccer field. Thanks, Matt. In sports today, North Greenville University suffered a stinging defeat on the baseball diamond at the hands of Carson Newman College, 1-0. This defeat was particularly frustrating because not only was it a loss, but it mirrored the player's GPA. Coach Neidhart, when asked about his team's performance, said it was worse than the Wiggles and a Kobe Calais album. <laughs> <laughs> In other news, soccer practice has been canceled. Someone... May need to translate that for the team. Just. <clears throat> and now for a quick break. And after the break, the weather. Stay tuned. <clears throat> Turns out they were just playing volleyball. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, and uh, thanks for staying tuned in. More news in a minute, but first the weather with Christopher Heckey. Chris? Thank you, American. Now, as you can see here, there, there is no map. Um, okay. So you can see America is covered in a green blanket of forests, because the forests are growing very much. Go ecosystems. And also, we have storms in the South Carolina of Tigerville, everywhere. And uh, birds fly across the nation because of immigration, it's getting hot, and also perros, and uh, we have also uh, <clears throat> the fuego from the uh, Earlier this week, the remodeling company that switched out the seats in Turner Chapel over the summer admitted to accidentally confusing the North Greenville Chapel seats with those intended for the meeting hall used by both the International Club for Sadists and the Midgets Anonymous. Why can't I say sadists? Oh, come on, midgets? It's, it's a word. It's what they're called. Earlier this week, the remodeling company that switched out the seats in Turner Chapel over the summer admitted to accidentally confusing the new North Greenville Chapel seats with those intended for short people. In other news, an opinion piece in the Skyliner expressed a strong and lasting disgust with blah, 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 no one, no one cares about this. Nobody really cares about the sky. The women's basketball team, not to be confused with the men's basketball team or the cast of America's next top young The women's basketball team, not to be confused with the men's basketball team or the cast 
Um, next, Miss Ng, you listen. Apparently. And now back to Matt Huff in the field. Apparently, we have a new theater building. Thanks, guys. The football team has four home games this year, and donors are beginning to. You can't. You can't say that on air. That, How that's do you expect best. us to come in here and do a comedy show when you can't even let us do our jokes? It's not funny. Look, oh, come on. I'm trying to save this. this I'm thing. trying to save this show. I don't know whether don't you realize or not, but the first Why few minutes of this so show have this. not it gone well. Just they have not that. gone well. Plans have been announced for a new North Greenville University tennis facility. The tennis facility, however, has been met with some controversy due to the fact that funding for the facility will take money directly from players' scholarships. When asked their opinion, the tennis team says they're back and forth on the issue. Boo. Hi, and welcome back to the news. <sighs> we're going to take another attempt at weather, but first we're going to go back out to Matt Huff in the field. Matt? Apparently, we have a writing center. Thank you. I am now prepared. Since this is my part of the show, I'd like to say something to all of you guys. Illegal immigration is cool, okay? Because you guys are lazy and you don't work. See this green here? We're working for two of these. Green cards and money, okay? And because you guys won't get up from the TV couch watching that 70s show, okay, that's why we come here. What do you think of that? Thank you, Chris. We all hope you find a job soon. And now for the rest of the news. As for the recent rumors of upheaval around the campus, the administration wishes to assure all students that they are completely in control of the situation and that there is no need to panic whatsoever. That's it. I have, I have nothing else. There are no more jokes. I'm, this is a fail. That is not my j A student involved in the campus ROTC had a nervous breakdown this afternoon and was sent to the clinic after his professor reminded the class of the due date for their first draft. <clears throat> the student soldier later ran into the woods after the on-duty nurse told him to go and set up camp next to the Afghan stand. Even though he was dressed completely in camouflage, if you see any trace of him, please call student services at 7777. He didn't even say anything. I know what he was going to say, and he cannot say that. You can't say it! I am the director. Shut up! Shut up! I am the nation will Shut up! Apparently. And now back to Matt Huff in the field to close out the show. Apparently.